back to Gardening with Creations by DX & Co. We are going to get started building that indoor greenhouse. It is a almost six foot wide greenhouse. I put the link in the description below so you guys can purchase the same version of it. Mine I actually got from Aldi, but it is the same type, so I found that for you. So I'll show you how we build it. Whew, it is cold out here, January. You can see we have snow on the ground. I know the white balance there, but uh, yeah, it is cold. Heading out to the greenhouse because although I'm not going to be able to start seeds in the greenhouse because I don't have it heated currently, I am going to get my seeds started. Yes, in January, even though I probably won't be able to get them in the ground till May. So let's get the greenhouse opened up here. door sticks all right something to look at Let's get you guys flipped around here okay so here is one of the shelves we need to take apart and opposite is the other one we need to it's going to be great in the springtime to have these in this spot but i want to use them right now to start growing stuff on so when you get all this stuff cleared off move to a different shelf so we can utilize these inside. Okay, so I've got all the parts laid out. What I did was actually take apart the shelves. I was using them as shelves in the greenhouse. So let me go through the different parts here. These particular poles here, you should have three of them, is actually for the, to separate the two shelves. You've got three of them because you've got one, two in the back and one in the front on the floor. These are your arches that actually form the roof or the point of it. So you have four of those in particular. And then you have two actual brackets that go with those. Those brackets are just triangles or tri pieces and they've got a flat end there and then just the three different sides now along with that you're going to have two of these special pieces these are actually flat these here are clips to hold down the shelves which are wonderful that they included this i have three different types of these greenhouses and this is the only one that included shelf clips which is really awesome you should have six shelves that come with it wired shelves three for each side and then you've got these long bars here these long bars are actually going to be your horizontal bars that actually hold up the shelves these just a hair shorter bars here are going to be your vertical bars that actually build the shelves so to separate the different layers of the shelves then you've got these shorter bars these are going to be your front and back of your shelves so as you can imagine those are your shelves right there and then this is your front and back. And then you have all of your actual braces for those poles to go in. So you should have a bunch of these braces that have four sides on them. It, remember, them are very special that only have these three sides with a flat on there. So set those aside because you will need those definitely. And then you need these other three sided pieces here. But the rest of them all have four sides on them. And let's get started laying them out on the floor so we can get our shelves put together all right as i was resorting on my pieces i remember there should actually be six in total of these special three-sided pieces with the flat edge there that's because they actually go on the outside of the shelf on the bottom so what you're going to do is actually put it here on this shelf with the flat side facing down so it's going to be that long bar that creates the horizontal shelf you're gonna want that on the front and the back. So that's your actual outside of your greenhouse. And that makes it so you have a flat surface on the bottom. You've now got a horizontal bar going out and then one going to the right of me, which is gonna be where we're gonna place our shortest bar here. And that shortest bar is gonna be, like I said, where the actual length of the shelf. So now we're starting to form that shelf. All right, then we wanna take one of those four piece brackets and you want to set it on the other end of that short bar take another one of your long bars here 
complicit in that end. Grab another one of your short bars for the opposite end here. And then we need another four corner piece here to go again here. So what that now has done is allowed us to start building up and then it allows us to take our longest bars, those three long bars, and put it in the back here so that we'll be able to connect our two shelves and then we also have one that goes across the front for our threshold. Now as you can imagine there isn't one that goes across the top front because otherwise you'd be running into it and you couldn't walk into it. So now that we've got our actual base done we can start building up. So the vertical bars are the middle size bars, not the long ones, not the short ones, but the middle size bars. So we need four of those to start building vertically. All right, pretty simple, right? Then we take, again, one of our four-way brackets here. Now we want to make sure that we have one to go out across, one to go for our short bar, and one to go vertically. So as long as you've got it that way on both sides, just like that, you've now got that set to go. Let's get our other side in. Okay, now again we take two of our horizontal bars, our longest bars, put it there, just goes on the long run. And then we take two of our short bars, and we put them on the two ends. And now we've built the first shelf. So you actually now repeat this here two more times. So that way you have a three-tiered shelf. So let me go ahead and get that done really quick and I'll show you the end result. So I want to bring you in closer and show you the top because the top's very important. So we have one of the four-way pieces going here because your actual roof or archway goes out of this corner and also out of the back corner. So we have the exact same scenario on both back corners. But notice on this front back corner, so this is the back of the greenhouse at this point, this front piece, it still has a four-way piece, but that piece juts out and doesn't go straight up. So you've got it going side, front, bottom, and out because we're gonna connect that bar just like we did on the bottom. But here's where that other specialty piece, one of these six specialty pieces come in because you want this, this flat end, just like you had it flat on the bottom on those first two starting corners, you want it here just like that so that way it's smooth and you're not catching that edge as you're walking in because that is your walkway. So I've already gotten the second shelf put together or the second set of shelves put together. I already had this done. I, I took it apart just so I could rebuild it for you guys. So what we're gonna do next is actually put the bottom pieces to connect the two shelves and that back piece, and then we'll build our archway. So our, our longest of the, just the three piece so it goes in the back here, connects that back panel, and then we connect the bottom two pieces. So you do step over a threshold, but it's not a big deal. It's flat on the ground, so it's really easy to do. So now that we've got that all in play here, what we're gonna do is put together our archway pieces. So as you remember, we had four kind of 
L-shaped pieces here. What they're going to do is you actually want the shorter end of that L piece to go into that corner, just like that there. I only have eight foot ceilings and this clearance is more than fine. It's only about six foot tall. So you want to do that both front and back on both sides, on both of your shelves. So you've got now what looks like a roof piece. Pretty straightforward. But we need to connect those with those two special brackets that we I showed you in the beginning. So they've got a flat piece on them and then they're just a three-way bracket. So that three-way bracket, there is a actual crossbar that goes in between these two to support it. Fit these in, they only fit in a certain way, pretty much. And then put the cross brace in there to help support it. And then you're ready to put the tarp on. I got this cross brace here, it just fits, like I said, right in the middle there to add some extra support. And there you go, you've got your A-frame up. Your shelves are built, they just need the actual brackets on them. I can do that after we put this on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the last step, which is the actual cover. Now, you don't have to do this step if you have something like this in your house and you just want to use it for shelves. You, maybe you have a southwest facing window or something, you can get a good seed starting with that. For me, this is actually an east facing window where these blinds are closed, so we'll get some morning sun here, but really not enough to get the effect that I need to grow seeds. So we do have to use supplemental light and i have a light video i'll link in the description and below so you can check that out and i'll also show you how i'm setting up my lights inside when we start our seats here so let me get this on here it's going to be awfully loud so i'm not going to actually film doing that i'm just going to go ahead and put it on and i'll show you the effect after okay so once you get the actual cover on it should look something like this and hopefully not as dirty as mine because mine's been sitting out in the greenhouse so it is a little bit dirty but let me take you on inside here and show you a couple of interesting things that might be on your unit so you can see here for me i've got these straps with if you're planning to use this particular unit outside which is awesome you can if you are able to stake this down and you don't live in a high windy area you can Velcro that down just in case it does catch the wind or something like that. Or for me, I like to Velcro it down because I have cats and they like to try to get in here. So it's got Velcro on the front and back and on three different points. So it really just hug, hugs it tight to the shelf bars and everything and actually makes it very nice. But you can see I am six foot tall and standing up in here nicely. And I'm able to access this top shelf, middle shelf, so on and so forth. So let's get our shelves in there and I'll show you what I mean. So the self-installation is the easiest part as you can imagine. You literally just set the shelf right down on top of those racks that you built and there you go, you got a shelf. Now this unit actually comes with those shelf clips as I mentioned before. These shelf clips that this one comes with, you literally just, they've got notches in the middle so that way you're able to just clip them right down on that shelf and they hold that shelf in place from falling over or coming up, so on and so forth. So you can put one on front and back. So if you've got a heavier items on your shelf, you can set them on your shelf without really worrying about it. Obviously, I keep the heaviest things to the ground if you can, your lighter objects or seedlings on top. And there you have it, finished greenhouse. I will show you how I'm gonna set up my lights for this, this greenhouse and how it'll stay warm just from the heat and the lights. So that's it guys. As you see the greenhouse, it's got these roll up doors that Velcro to stay out of your way. Just undo those straps and it zips closed. Got a cat in there now, so I can't do it right this second, but pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to purchase something like this, I did get mine from Aldi, but they I did find a link of the exact same type of model on Amazon. I'll link that in the description below. If you guys do click on that link and purchase it, it does help out the channel as it is an affiliate link. So 
Just want to let you guys know that. If you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss how we set up the lights for this one. And uh, I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your gardens. Thanks for watching.